guys, this is Austin from Arizona Sulcata. I'm going to talk to you guys today a little about fencing, how I fence my tortoises. And uh, as you can see over here, this is the tortoise fence on one of our tortoise enclosures. These are four by four inch spacings and this is heavy duty four gauge wire you can find at um, your feed stores or you know your tractor supplies, stores like that. And they're in here with T-posts. A little bit of a unique situation at this tortoise enclosure is we have cows back here. See a goat there and there's about 10 cows back here as well. So it has to be cow proof as well, which is why we have the electric fence going up here. So the cows can't go over the top or lean over and try and steal the tortoises feed and whatnot. So these are five foot T-posts, the electric wire and the four gauge steel fence. And those come in sheets of 16 feet by about four feet, and I cut those in half. So what we're gonna do today is build another enclosure for my females that are nesting. Over here, the dirt is kinda, it's pretty solid. Uh, there's a lot of river rock in it. Uh, they have a hard time digging there. So what I'm gonna do is, we have a gate right here coming into the pasture. I'm gonna go from this post right here all the way down to the cattle pens over there. And this whole soft dirt area, which we've mulched up and plowed, will be for the females to come in and nest. So we got about 100 feet of fencing we're gonna put into that corner and then over to that fence. So some materials you'll need are a post hole pounder, some gloves, this right here is the wire I use to fix the steel fence to the T-posts and it is 16 gauge wire. And I get this all at Home Depot. You're going to need some wire cutters, an angle grinder with some extra saw blades, some 4 inch saw blades, okay, a hammer, and then this tool is just to change out the blades on the angle grinder. So here's the fencing I'm using. I know before I said I used the 4x4 four four inch spaced steel panels, but with this enclosure I'm not going to have any smaller tortoises in it. They're all going to be the larger adults, the females that are laying. So this 8 inch spacing is just fine. Um, the top is actually 2x4 and then the bottom is... I believe four by eight, and this is a cattle panel. Um, so it comes in at 16 feet long. It's about four feet high, and I cut those in half. So I've cut one in half already. So you see you end up with two 16 feet long panels that are about two feet high each, okay? So that's how you get the 32 feet out of the 16 foot panel is cutting it right in half with the angle grinder. Now the T-posts I'm using today are the 6 foot T-posts. Uh, over here on this fence I used 5 feet which was good for the area I was in. Um, this dirt is a lot softer so I know I'm going to have to sink the post down further which is why I went with the six foot posts. Now, if you're not gonna have the electric fence like I have to have for these cows, you do not by any means have to buy these big T posts. What I do for the ones that aren't near the cows at all, I use these little three foot ones and they work awesome. And once you pound those in, they're the perfect height for the fences once you cut them down. So if you're not doing the electric fences, which you're probably not, Go ahead and use those three foot garden T posts. You can find those at Home Depot or Tractor Supply and they do the job just as good as anything. Now I'll update you guys as soon as I get started on this fence and we'll go from there. We're in this other uh, sulcata enclosure. I thought I'd just show you briefly what it looks like without the electric fence because most of you aren't gonna have that. Um, here's what it looks like with the uh, smaller three foot T posts using that same steel I just showed you. 
goes all the way along this fence. Um, so, because there was some really cheap wire, so that keeps them from getting into there. And let's get cracking on this fence over here. Here's an update on how the fence is coming along. We uh, started over here. You just run the T-post down, and you just keep bringing your panels in along as as you go. Um, these are 16 foot long panels, so I'd recommend spacing your T-posts out every four feet. It works out really well. Uh, I'm not a perfectionist, so I just kind of eyeball it. Uh, so my spacing's pretty off. So, like for instance, when I started, that's probably about six feet. I was way off, so I just put a little stake in here, just kind of reinforce it so it's solid. It's not, it's not budging at all. Another stake there, uh, another stake right there. Uh, then I got my spacing down, so it was all right. Um, but if you go too far, just put a stake in or a little tiny T post or whatever have you. Again, at the end there, spacing was a little off, so I put some reinforced stake in there. Uh, when you do oh, um, put in another panel, make sure you guys always overlap like this. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can probably overlap a little bit more than that. Um, if you don't overlap, then the tortoises can push on it and get get out. But this fence is, again, it's not pretty. I'm not a perfectionist, but it's definitely going to get the job done. It is sturdy, and the tortoises are not going to be able to get through that. So I'm going to knock out the rest of these T-posts, get the rest in, and then I'll update you guys. The fence portion is done now. You can see six-foot T-posts all the way over there for the electric fence that I'm going to wire up. Which I will show you next. And then once I got over to this spot right here, I went with the three foot T post because they're a lot easier to pound in and the cows aren't going to be over here. So I went ahead and went with the three foot post. Now, right here is where my gate's going to be. It's not a gate in the tradi traditional sense of the word, but I'm going to have the electrical fence strung up there and then that is going to have a handle on it where I can break the electrical fence to walk through it and step over this. Now, if I was going to be wheeling tortoises in and out of here all the time and doing stuff, I would have put an actual gate in here. Um, what I do for that is I take two of these three foot posts and I'll pound them in right next to each other so they're like this. So there's a little gap in between. And I'll do that on each side. So essentially what it looks like here, if I can get these T-posts to work, there we go, is one will go on each side and then you don't wire it at all. And once you pound those in, they'll be level with that fence. And you'll do that on each side and then you just slide that fence up and down. So whenever you want to walk through it, you can just pop it up. And you don't even have to tie that off with the wire. But I'm not going to do that this time just because I'm not going to be using this maybe once a year, if that. Um, I'm going to be using that gate over there. So that's why I didn't do it. Um, I did make that big enough so I can get a tractor through there because eventually when the tortoises are out of this area, this is supposed to be a garden. So um, I will show you guys next what the electrical fence is going to look like. Um, if you guys have dogs or anything like that, you might want to pay attention, but otherwise um, the next steps are just for the electrical fence, so I will show you that next. Guys, the electric fence and the fence are all put in now. If you're going to do the electric fence, these are just little plastic insulators you can buy. Um, it was like three bucks for a whole bag of 20 of them, which is more than enough to do this whole fence, which is about... 90 feet to where I had the electric fence going. Um, we got grass planted in here. It's getting sprinklered right now. Hopefully in a couple weeks. Should have some grass growing. The only thing that's left to do is I'm going to get tortoise heated houses built right here on the back side of this shed. And then that should be it. This is going to be where my fem females go to nest. I tied in that wire to the existing fence right there. And there it is, guys. There's a tortoise fence for you. It's not pretty, but it is indestructible. They do not get through this stuff. Better than cinder block, in my opinion. It's never failed me. I've never had to redo it once it's done. It is solid. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me at azsolcata.com.
or azsolcata at gmail.com. Visit our website at azsolcata.com, and I'm happy to help anyone out that has any kind of questions. We'll get your enclosures taken care of for you and make sure your tortoises are set up how they're supposed to be. Thanks, guys.